<laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> this looks so stupid. This is an active scene. I wow, you're you gonna you're, you're gonna pull a you're gonna pull a taser on us? Really? We're the freaking news, man. Hey, we should go grab that lady and get an interview story with her. Come on. Hey, ma'am, uh, San Andreas Independent News. Um, do you care to comment on uh, what ha transpired back there with the warehouse? Hey, get the mic out. Get the mic out. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you go on the GPS and put in uh, 8187? 8187? Yeah, I just got tipped off to something. I just saw a cop pull out, and I don't know why, because I'm going the same speed as everyone else. I turned the camera off because I can't see him anymore, but I put your GPS coordinates in. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. No problem. I don't know why that cop was tailing us like that. I was going the same speed as everything else on the highway. So where is 8187 anyway? Uh, it's ju just past the Del Freeway. Okay, it was like an anonymous source. I don't know what it is, but we'll go down there and check it out. Maybe it's something good. Oh shit, we passed the exit. Oh wow, did you get footage of that cop going the wrong way? Hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Excellent. So apparently there's some kind of drug raid going on down here. That's what the story is. Like Well we got we got a city boy behind us. Just just thought I'd tell you. Yeah, I see that. That's okay, we're not doing anything wrong. They said it was down in this area, so I'm just going to do a Yui. He's not looking. See if you see anything down behind the warehouse there. This is 8187, right? Yeah, if you go just a little bit more forward, we're just, just, we're just shy of it right now. I bet you there's like a back entrance. Maybe down in here. Oh shit, look at this! I got it, I got it. Okay. I don't know how close we can get, but we're just gonna, like... Yeah, I'm gonna park over here. Let's get our camera equipment out. Here, I'll get, I'll get the boom mic. Let me just get this open. <laughs> okay, let's just see how um how close we can get. Maybe maybe by that that second dumpster right there. We'll just walk real slow. <laughs> oh man, they're they're so gonna come over here and tell us to go away. <laughs> here it is. All right, this area is closed off. You boys have to. Boys and girls have to turn around and leave this area now. Okay, where's there a good place that Still we can get zone, some right? footage? Alright, not right now. It's not the time really to get some footage. You guys can stay. You guys can stay behind this pallet here. Alright, anywhere. Draw, like, drawing draw, draw, like an invisible line. Yeah, cool, we can do that. Stay behind there. Okay, this thank one right you. by me? 
Yeah, that works. Here, come over on this side so you can get some, like, really good footage, like, looking past the cars. Damn, if only we could get up on that ladder that's, like, right over there. I know, that's what I was thinking. Hey, guys, get to the Hold side on. so the medics can through. Yep, side. we're off to the side. I, I can't get any closer. I know I'm a little big, but... I don't know. I'm talking to the lady here. Okay. Hey, can you comment on what's going on? At the moment, I can. I'm uh, not of a rank that can speak of that. Okay. If they do a press release, I will uh, send them your way then. Awesome. Or do you want to solve shots? Keep on go on back. Uh, it's got a mouse. block building on the right side. Keep on bringing it back. There's got to be like. Hang on, let's see well, if we can find like some kind of good. rooftop or something. <laughs> Poor Lenny trying to run. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this, this looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, it'd be great if it was like a freaking ladder this way or something. Oh, shit, watch out for the tree. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Oh, shit. This is like ground zero, dude. Okay. Just like try to hide behind that dumpster, okay? Can you see over the top of it? Or here, get, get between the dumpster and the building, maybe. Careful. Here, quick, come Maybe this way. Bit, come this way. Oh, dude, there's a ladder like right here. You think we'll get in trouble for doing... Here, get, get up on this little, um... On this thing right here. Like, can you climb this? <coughs> hey, dude, can... hey, get back. Hey, we're behind get the back. line. We're behind the line. You got a vehicle blocking the way. Get we're, back. we're not in the way. No, get back. Why are you being a dick? We're the news. We're just trying to get a story. We're trying to work with hey, you. You don't you need get to be, back. You don't need to be mean, though, man. Come on. This is an active scene. I wow, can have you guys gonna, you're, for you're gonna pull a you're gonna pull a taser on us? Really? We're the freaking news, man. That's gonna be all over the front page, Whoa. dude. Pulling a taser on two unarmed okay. people. That's that's great. I'm, what's that's your right. what's your name and badge I'm number? I'm recording it. My name's Staff Sergeant Myron with the LSPD, 327. Okay, now, is there All any right. reason for you to be yelling at us when we're not even passing into your vehicle? As you have the area blocked off, we're beyond the line that you have it blocked off. There's no reason to be yelling at us. We're not causing any problems. We're just trying to get a story, and you're because yelling at us and pulling weapons on us. That That's really great. I don't know. I don't know who you guys are. I don't know what you guys have on you. Obviously, I can see the camera and the microphone rod, but I don't know what else you guys have on you. I don't want you guys coming in and accidentally disturbing any of the evidence or the scene at all. And I asked you guys nicely. Uh, about no, 10 you didn't. Ago to no, stay back you did. You did not pallet. ask nicely just now. I no. asked you guys. Not just now. About 10 minutes ago, I asked you guys to stay back behind the pallets over there. You guys decided to go against what I said. Come all the way around and try and sneak up to get a closer look on this side. Well, okay. I'm not trying to you argue, but again, we didn't you. we didn't go around we didn't go beyond the pallet. We went around the other way, okay? That's that's a little different. But you have the area cordoned off. We didn't cross any areas we're not supposed to, okay? So it is still much closer than we want you, so we have every right to push so you back. Here, yeah, can you like put the taser away because I'm not a threat to you and I'm a little nervous of the fact and I have anxiety, so like if if you keep that thing out like you might need an ambulance for me, so why don't you just put that away? Because, like, I'm literally just trying to get a story, and it's, like, really no reason right, to put weapons well, on us. We will give you information as it comes hey, and when officer. we feel it's ready. But I need you to stay Pretty back well, behind okay. that corner of the building. Well, the so there's nothing the going pillars. on right here. Yeah, like, if, if Weasel News was here, you'd let hey, them get close, the wouldn't you? Push them back. Okay. I'm, I, I wouldn't let any news team get any closer than that in the corner of the tan building over here. Okay, well, we're just trying to get some shots, and we'll leave you guys alone. We're not trying to be assholes or get in the way. L literally, the only reason you're distracted right now by us is because you're talking to us. We were literally going to stand right, right here 
where we are now, and you're, right. you're being distracted by me. So. All right. Well, that is that. That's your that's choice. To discuss right now. I need you guys to go back behind the corner of this building so that we have you at a safe distance. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Put up some tape there. Okay. Stay yeah. Okay. That that I, that I got your name up. and badge number. I'll be reporting you. Thank you. No reason right. to be All a right. dick. Thank you. Unbelievable. Go back. Yeah, I, go back thanks. I, I'm not an idiot. I know what, you, what they said. You don't need to be condescending. Man, those guys were real assholes. Yeah, they were. All right, you want to take the mic? I'll take the cam this time. Let's see. We'll, we'll go back to where he said by that pallet, and that's where we'll stand. Okay. This thing is waterproof, right, boss? Um, yeah, it's, yeah. I made. I knew it was gonna rain today, so I put a like a you know plastic bag over the mic, so it should be fine. Oh, okay, cool. Oh well, if it stops raining, that helps too. Apparently. <laughs> We're reporting live from the scene of an apparent drug raid at uh, eight one eight seven, um, or eight one eight six. No, eight one eight seven Popular Street. Uh, it's currently. Um, 7.15 at night on a Saturday. Um, no, wait, today's not Saturday. Today's today's Thursday. Yes, anyway. Uh, it's an apparent drug raid. Um, they have an ambulance here, possibly injured. Um, and there was one arrestee uh, inside the, the far Chevy Tahoe you can see over there. The uh, police on scene were very rude. Uh, name and badge number. I think it was like Mariah or something like that. Uh, but we got we got them on camera, and and you you got that audio right, Jesse. Oh yeah, definitely, cool. definitely. Uh, did did you get a close up on on the person in the Tahoe? It looked like it was a woman. I I, I don't know if I got that close to her. That's fine. I think we picked up some audio on her. I was really hoping we could find like a rooftop or something we could like film down on, but I don't see anything. Uh, next to the, pretty much the only roof access I can see. Yeah, I know, literally in the scene, right? But I take it those officers right there are just there to make sure we don't come any closer, huh? Oh, I'm sure exactly that's what they're doing. I don't know why they have such a hard on for the for the news, you know. It's not like we were interfering or anything. We were literally just like, you know. Like, if they wanted people to be further back, they should have parked their, their police vehicle further back. But, you know, we use that as a line, so that's really confusing if that's not where they wanted us. Hang on, I'm, I'm going to put out a little blurb about this real quick, so that people know what's going on. There we go. Yeah, and, and if this, if this, I mean, if this story breaks. I mean, we're the first ones on scene. Like, we, we, we got this before even Weasel News did. Like, we're, we're gonna make a lot of money on this online, you know? Oh, absolutely. The ad revenue alone. Okay, it looks like they're moving out. So am I, like, free to go, man? Alright, uh, do you guys want anything for a story? Oh, yes, please. If you, if you could give us, um, you know, kind of a rundown of what happened, I'd really appreciate that. Alright, I can give you a very basic rundown, give you the, uh, slight details. Sure, well, yeah, whatever um, you can. So, alright, earlier today we got a tip, um, from somebody that there was possible narcotics, uh, growth or sales out of this building behind us. Um, we had to be obtained a search warrant, went in, and uh, apprehended three suspects uh, that we believe to be in relation to um, this, or that, that, that were here on scene when we uh, arrived for the warrant. Um, we did uh, obtain and get off the streets a large um, amount of marijuana, and um, all three suspects were taken in custody without any incident. Excellent. And uh, how much, uh, approximately, uh, marijuana did you seize? 
um, approximately 350 uh, pounds of marijuana. Wow. <laughs> yes, this was a very large grow house. Excellent. And um, you, you said you have all three suspects in custody. Sorry? Uh, you, you said you had three suspects in custody. Uh, any way those names can be released? Uh, not at this time. It's still under um, investigation uh, within these three uh, people. Okay. Um, do you have a number at your station I can call when, when those are ready to be publicly released that I, I can get that info? Because I know eventually like there's like a desk you can call and they can, you know... Um, you know, uh, I can get that information. So I just want to get some footage of your suspect there, because I, I see I see it right there, kind of through the window. Yeah, you can always contact the uh, DA's office, um, and then you can contact Mission Row. Uh, their phone number should be in the phone book, and I'll give you my card here. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my phone number is uh, five nine one. If you want to, uh, <laughs> if you want to contact me with any more questions, um, I'll answer them if they're. Uh, be answered, but certain stuff has to stay confidential for right now. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. I think that's everything we need. Um, I don't want to keep up any more of your time. And I, and I apologize about earlier. It's just, you know, I, I think we both could have gone in a, a better way about that. And, you know, maybe next time we can work together better, you know? Yeah. Um, I just, we just don't want people that we don't know, you know, just walking up on any scene because uh, we don't want disruptions to happen. Um, you know, not to bash you guys' character, we don't want uh, the potential for um, you guys to try and hurt any of us. Uh, we just don't know what you guys have on you, so. Okay, yep, I understand. Alright, well, I really appreciate it, officer. Thank you. Yep. Have a great evening. You as well. I'm just gonna get some footage of you driving away, if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Cool. Awesome, I think we got that. That's perfect. I think they might have left an off... Oh, shit. Hey, I, I think they left an officer on scene over here. You see, you see over in the alleyway? I think there's somebody standing there. Is that is that right? Hmm. I can't see that far. Yeah, I can't tell that's a person. Yeah, it is a person. Okay, so they're, they're guarding the scene still, so we're not going to be able to get any closer. We'll, um... Let's pull out and see if um, maybe they leave. We can get in there. Let's let's let's, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna hand you the camera. That way you can use it in the. Actually, no. I'll just put it in the back here and I'll grab it when we go to drive. Yeah, let's see if we can find like a different way to like get over there because they must have a someone guarding it. I think. Oh, oh man, Lenny, we could have come over here. There's a ladder right there. Oh, son of a bitch! Does that go, that go up the roof? Yeah, it does. Oh, man. Um, you know what? Wait, our light's still red. Okay. Uh, we'll turn around, we'll park, and let's see if we can get up there. Maybe get some footage, like, looking down, you know? Okay. Sun's about to come up, so we'll be able to see a lot more. Okay, let's get the shit. Let me see if I can get my fat ass up this, this ladder. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, not legit carrying the camera like that. Okay, the freaking rain is not helping at all. Oh my god! Dude, this is... You are ruining your life with it. Okay. Uh, you might now think that you're not ruining your life, but 20 years forward and you're gonna... 
be happy if you get uh get off of that stuff. All right? Yeah. So, so we'll make a deal. I'll mm. let you slide. <laughs> you won't charge you with anything. Oh, but uh, I'm gonna contact. You're gonna go. I'm gonna let you go. Whenever you're free, you're gonna go to pillbox. You're gonna say that you have problems with narcotics, and they're gonna help you out. I'm gonna go in contact with pillbox as well with yourself as well and if I if I give them a call in a week they'll uh, and they'll tell me that you're not there then we're gonna have problems how does that sound Un understandable all right I mean it's better than sitting in the jail cell isn't it yeah okay good Oh, dude, they're letting her go? Yes, please, they're Shit. really uncomfortable. Dude, they're letting this lady go. Yes, they're not meant to be very comfortable, you know? You well, want to ride anywhere? Rain would stop would be nice. Um, no, I'll just take a taxi. Okay. Alright. Yeah, don't forget the deal or we're gonna have problems. Alright. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes for a second because my previous vehicle poofed, so I have to uh, use my power from the god and anime on my side so I can get my vehicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Tom said I'm you need me or you all again. good? Huh? Sorry? You need me or you good? Uh, I think I'm good. Uh, the county unit should be in route here. They're just gonna tape it up. We're gonna have the city probably lock this place up because it wasn't locked up very good since they were literally inside of it. For sure. Yeah. Uh, you wanna ride somewhere or? No, no, no I'm alright. Okay. Thank all you. Right, you have a nice one. No problem. You too. It is. Hey, we should go grab that lady and get an interview story with her. Come on. Just uh, when we when we find her, just get out like the little mic. Um. Oh shit! Hang on. Oh come on, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Is that her right there? The yeah, yeah. Get right there in the black. In the black. Hey, come on. Yeah, I think that's her. That's her. Hey ma'am, uh, San Andreas Independent News, um, do you care to comment on uh, what ha transpired back there with the warehouse? Hey, get the mic out, get the mic out. Um, well, yeah, it, it was basically just like a giant time. drug bust, I guess you could say. Oh yeah, and, and what was your part in all this? Um, I, I really was just kind of there. I, you know, I wouldn't, of course, do anything illegal like that. Yeah, we we, uh, we saw that the uh, the officers had you in handcuffs and then um, they released you. Did you uh, make some kind of deal with them perhaps? Or uh, were you just an innocent bystander who got caught up in all this? <laughs> no, I'm just an innocent bystander, you know. Oh, interesting. Uh, do you care to go on record with your name? I mean, uh, sure, it's Andrea Worley. Andrea Worley, okay. And uh, and you had no involvement with the uh, the drug operation there? No, I kind of just kind of got caught in the crossfire, I guess you could say. But a, a couple people were arrested. Did you know any of those people? Um, yeah, one was my brother. Oh, interesting. Uh, is this something he's involved in regularly? And, and what's his name? Uh, his name's Connor, and no, I really think it was just kind of the wrong place at the wrong time, you know? Interesting. And did you know the uh, the third party, uh, th uh, their name? Connor Worley. Uh, the that. other two people? No, not really. 
Interesting. And uh, did it's you? It's kind of crazy in there. Did you see any of the uh, drugs or anything that were uh, seized? It was definitely a lot. I can tell you that. Interesting. Uh, any other details you can remember before we uh, get out of your hair? Um, the officers were uh, definitely pretty intimidating. I would say, don't mess with the LSPD. Yeah, we actually found that out. They were very rude to us when we showed up, but uh, in the end, they, they turned out to be okay. Definitely people you don't want to be on the wrong side of. Well, Miss Worley, th thank you for your story, and, um, you know, uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You have a lovely day. Yep, thanks. So... <laughs> oh, that's great! Oh, oh my god. Okay, let's geez. put this back in the shot. There we go. Tell me how that looks. Oh shit, you want to see where the ambulance is going? Up to you, boss. Oh wait, they're, oh, they're going to the... never mind. We'll never get in there. That's like Fort Knox. Yeah, that, that, that won't happen. Nope. Hey, you know what? Uh, get some footage of the ambulance at the police station. We'll, we'll do a quick drive-by because maybe... Maybe something happened to the suspect, you know? And hey, let me reach back and grab it. Alright, I'm good, ball. Alright, I'm just gonna drive by. Alright, that ought to do it. We'll, we'll just put in some kind of like... I'll put in some kind of ending to it where it's like... Suspect might be hurt. Ambulance showed up at like the station or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So when I, when I release this report, can I can I put your name in the uh... You know... Uh, oh, jeez, I don't even know what to title you. Um, I mean, you, you did the boom operation, you did some camera work. Um, I don't know, uh, assistant news ank field person? I don't know. Oh shit, hey! That was weird. Yeah, we're passing our competitors. That's, that's Weasel News. They're the... They're like the major news company, but we got a story before they did. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be mad when this story hits. Suck it, Weasel! <laughs> so, if you own Life Invader, are you still rich? Oh, no, okay, so I sold the company um, because uh, I was in over my head with the corporate stuff. Um, I sold the company, but uh, all the money I made, I, I donated to charity. Um, not all of it, like, I kept some for myself, but just enough to live modestly. And, you know, I don't have to work, like, a full-time job anymore, kind of stuff I kept, but, like, enough for me to, like, really allow me to start my own news company. Oh, I see. Well, that's nice. I mean, I heard that the company was worth a lot of money, so you donated a lot of money. Yeah, um, I probably shouldn't get into the numbers, but, like, uh, a couple billion, you know, you're not going to miss that kind of money? No, having that much just gives me a lot of anxiety. I just felt really weird having all that. I was kind of forced into the whole thing by some investors, and they thought I'd be good for the job. And I, I mean, I'm really tech-savvy, and I have some good ideas about social media, but it was just too much. So um, I decided I wanted to go back to my roots, which was like a, you know, independent little news company, and it works out really well for me. As long as you're doing what you, makes you happy, I mean, you can't argue with that. 
Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's how I feel about it. Besides, I feel like I can make a, a better difference, you know, or a bigger difference as a small independent, you know, news company than a big social media, you know, conglomerate, you know? All right, well, I'll drop you off here by your car. I, I, I really should uh, get upstairs and start, uh, you know, publishing this. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. I, re I really appreciate you doing this. I think we'll uh, we'll make a really good team in the future, you know? Sounds good. You got my number. Call me again. All right, will do. Th thanks, Jesse. Take take care. You too. Oh, man. What a... Oh... This went better than I expected. I honestly got into this thinking, ah, it's going to be kind of, you know, quiet. It might not work out. We might not get any, you know, any activity. This freaking worked, man. Like, I, I'm really excited, guys. This actually worked out really well. Ah, I'm so excited. And, and oh, Lenny is just so excited. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I also want to say thank you to all the LEO and civilians that took part in this tonight. I think you guys all did an awesome job. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that. You guys are awesome and amazing. And, of course, uh, me yelling at the cops earlier, um, that's totally just in character. I had to clarify that. I was not upset with anyone out of character. It was totally just an in-character thing. Now, I, I always clarify that just to make sure people don't think I'm mad at them or I'm some kind of asshole or something like that. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Till we meet again.